setup. The new setup. It's the same setup, but it's the new setup. Like I'll show you guys right now. So I'm looking at. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. So the camera, everything's okay. You know, I was watching Azure Speed get a meeting with Ronaldo. And Ronaldo wasn't too into it because he's used to it by now. But like for Speed, this is a momentous occasion. And I was happy for Speed, I have to admit. I was living vicariously through Speed. For a good moment, I was living vicariously through him. And I think a lot of people that are happy for him almost are living vicariously through him. And that's not me, pro no, that is me projecting because I'm living vicariously through him. But like, it's such a happy moment. Like, I think to myself, like, why can't I live vicariously through him? And I think to myself again, yeah, I can't live vicariously through him because if I do, that's me denying my reality and me trying to accept another reality that just simply doesn't exist for me. You know, the biggest thing, like, biggest takeaway I've gotten from this is like, holy crap, I'm just always trying to escape. Second of all, like, holy crap. Speed same age as me. And he's accomplished so much more than me. And that very thought alone is kind of like, kind of annoying. It's like a chip of my soul, you know? Like, I'm trying to fucking take this stuff. But I can't. The desk is here, all the stuff's kind of like flayed here, and then my room is just empty. Up. I can't like it. Like, what am I even supposed to do? Like, speed up for the rest of his life. Like, man, can I hold this? I want a moment to think. I look at my actions, and then I look at speed's actions, and then I think to myself, like, oh crap, yeah, this speed deserves this, bro been grinding he has been like in the trenches <laughs> in the virtual trenches grinding and um, I think to myself like yeah he despite us being the same age not only has he been streaming longer like he's been putting effort longer than me you know he's been more consistent than me you know when I name things that I can be I have been consistent in there's very little things I can actually truly name that I've been consistent in it's very worrying to me a lot of things that I do are often like drawn out processes, drawn out things that, you know, I'm not really too consistent with them. And like I'm seeing that now with the speed thing, the speed paradigm. And I don't know if anyone else is feeling this, like, bro, oh, put a comment in the, in the description if you're this as well, but like, yeah, I'm, I'm happy for him, but Jesus Christ, man. Like, holy shit. Like, it's just like a, it's like a snap back to reality. Like, after the video, after the video ends, like, you're ho like, you're, holy shit, I didn't mean Ronaldo, but I just got happy for a dude that doesn't even know me that met Ronaldo and <sighs> I was living vicariously bro like that's escapism it's, it's, it's just another from like and ten media and it that just sucks to me like you can just keep drowning yourself in this shit or you can choose to do something about it. It's not gonna be a long video I don't, I don't know what to say. Like, I, I, I see my achievements, and I see I have speed achievements, and I'm like, yeah, different realm. Different realm. It's quite annoying to think about, but like, um, this person, wrong comment, for it best. Contextually, this is an amazing story. He started off as an unknown but fairly likable streamer. Bradley asked him the question which set this all off. His interest in the football got him popular with the soccer community of USA. He started learning how to play it, eventually coming, came to England with a very strong fan base within the country to follow Ronaldo in Manchester. Got airtime with Sky Sports and even a mention from BT, got invited to a charity match which he was the main player to see. Made a very popular unofficial World Cup song and was invited to some of the biggest football games in the world. Then he started following Ronaldo in Saudi Arabia to continue to increase his international fan base. Started to get attention from young football players, probably Portugal and their national team. That attention finally managed to get speed in the high anticipated visit with CR7 himself. 
love him or hate him, his marketing and branding has been a have been a stroke of genius. My only concern is whether he's peaked too early as he's essentially completed the past of being one hour. Where do you go from there on now? And since I'm the only one that really watches my videos, I want to spin this back to the viewer. You know, after seeing such a young person, such a strong marketing capacity, with such genius, with such hard work ethic, after seeing a young person like that and seeing him succeed, how do you feel? Do you feel happy? Are you doing vicariously through him? Do you feel like me? A bit happy but frustrated thereafter? Angry thereafter, even frustrated at the fact that you've achieved effectively zero. Are you okay with your achievements? Do you have any accolades that you're proud of? Would you describe your accolades as how do I say this? No worry. Would you describe your accolades as like holy shit? One of those holy shit moments where I'm like, holy shit, I actually did that. Would you describe your accolades as something like that? Or would it just be like, yeah, I did that. Because of everything I've done so far in my life is just like, yeah, I did that. It's not, holy shit, I did that. And I don't know if this feeling is going to persist forever because I am basing it off on an emotional scale. And you could have achieved something amazing. And you know, Mars put a rocket on the moon. A rocket on the moon. Put a rocket in the space and re it, etc. Et it probably could get a rocket on the moon at this point, though. Anyway, it's irrelevant, he's trying to Mars. Um, at some point, you can sit down and say, oh, like, yeah, holy shit, I did that. Of course, with the, the combined effort of a multitude of people, but yeah, I did that. Could you say that about your own achievements? Are oh, your own achievements? No one, like I said. Haven't even achieved anything significant in your life. And these thoughts have pervaded my mind, and I think that these thoughts are the beginning of something great. I can't like right now. I, I don't think I could even go back to watching YouTube. Video. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm, I'm jealous, bro. I'm not jealous of, so much of that he met Ronaldo. I'm jealous of the fact that he's worked so hard, and I haven't worked hard. That's what I'm jealous of. But oh, he's jealous of Ronaldo. He's jealous of Ronaldo. Like, guys, I don't even care about football. I like boxing. Okay, I like MMA. I like boxing. I like combat sports. Was anything else? But. His hard work, he like, well, law of attraction, he really, really manifested that shit. Of, of course, with hard work ethic, but he thought about it and he manifested it. Like, what the fuck? There's nothing else I can say, like, it's deserved, it's true. I want to go in. I don't want to watch anymore. Can you guys in the next video, please? Leave me a video for that.